The N007 is a very special boat with an equally impressive history. They build them actually for uh, research and development. They want to get a high-speed patrol boat. First developed by the Tupolev Aircraft Company of Russia in the late 60s and early 70s, it was designed as a rescue craft for Russian cosmonauts. At 50 miles an hour, I have some leading edge flaps on the bottom. I put them out and then it leaves the surface of the water. It just glides over the water at one foot altitude. It had to be fast, able to go over impossible terrain, water, snow, slush, and it had to be reliable. When Jerry Schulte first got it, reliability was not in his vocabulary. Ready? <laughs> it took forever to get it started, and it backfired and missed when it ran. Jerry was determined to make this unusual craft like it was when it was first accepted by the Russian military. That meant the engine had to go back to the manufacturer. The engine we sent to uh, Bakau, Romania, which has the original factory, it used to be Russia, of course. The original factory what builds these uh, Wiedemeyer MP14 radial engines. And it was overhauled at the uh, factory to, to brand new tolerances. So this engine is basically, it's a brand new engine. It has now 50 hours on it. I just broke it in. The mineral oil got off it. It has no regular shell, uh, Aeroshell 100 on it. And it's a brand new engine and I'm very happy with it. The manuals describing the workings of N007 were of course in Russian and some pages were simply blanked out, marked secret. Jerry had to get a top flight Russian mechanic to set the newly refurbished engine up. I had a Russian national, his name is Nikolai Temofi and he is a four times world champion acrobatic pilot. He flies a Zukoi, which happened to have the same exact engine. And Nikolai is a real good mechanic and he tuned this engine up. This runs now like a sawing machine and I never had a running that good, it's perfect. There are other special things on N007, like the original radio. The radio is the uh, military decipher radio and over this radio, traffic was going to the cosmonauts and nobody can listen to it because it has electric motors on it and all the frequencies are being changed rapidly on a preset uh, code and you got to have the same radio to receive, otherwise you don't hear nothing. This radio in the height of the Cold War would have been uh, a major find for America to have a radio like that because this was highly classified and uh, very, very rare. People always ask, where are the other rescue crafts built by Tupola? Did they all sink? No, special engineering pretty much guarantees the craft will not sink. The way the Russians solved the problem of flipping over at high speed, they point the crankshaft of this engine five degrees down. So the faster you go, the more pressure it puts on the front nose. You don't flip with this uh, boat. It is very solid at high speed. We believe there are other machines like this in museums, but we don't know where. And the refurbished engine has regained its reliability. It is once again purring to perfection and easy to start. Every time you start the engine, because a radial engine collects the oil on the bottom, so you gotta turn it through once, make sure there's no hydraulic lock. This was done already on the B-17s during World War II. Five guys had to do it per engine. This engine is so finely tuned, I can start it with a push of a button. N007 makes head spin wherever it goes, to boat shows where it has picked up numerous awards, including one presented by the legendary racer Sterling Moss. It is clear to everyone who sees this craft, N007 has not exhausted its show potential.